I don't know about you, but I've personally dreamed of winning the lottery. Wouldn't it be fun if you won, say, a billion dollars like just happened to that lady in the US recently? She won $2 billion. What would you do with the money? Would you buy a supercar? Would you buy an electric car? What would you get? This is one of the cars I would strongly consider if I was to win the lottery. It's an electric supercar, but its price, well, it's a lot less than hypercars with gasoline engines, but it's got a hell of a lot more power and it's actually extremely practical. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back everyone else. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for supporting the electric revolution. The more people that see these videos, the more we can convince all those morons who believe that they, you know, that it's a good thing to poison each other with gasoline fumes and fumes from diesel for the next whatever century, whatever, doesn't matter. And they don't realize that they're actually causing cancer. That's true. It's not alarmist rhetoric. It's actually true. Look at the life expectancy of firefighters in the US and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Diesel fumes in fire stations are making them drop like flies. Truth. Cancer rates in firefighters are extremely, extremely high. Getting back to the point, this new electric supercar is insane. I mean, think about it. If we had have said 10 years ago, you can buy an SUV with 2,000 horsepower, 2,000 horsepower, you would have thought, that's just ridiculous. That's mental. There's no way that could work. But it does. The Draco Dragon costs 290,000 US dollars and accelerates from 0 to 62 miles an hour or 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in 1.9 seconds. An SUV that accelerates to 62 miles an hour in 1.9 seconds, I think um, this could be brutal. This could mean, I would say, good chance you would throw up driving this car. Good chance. Or feel very, very sick. Now, I've been pretty quick in a Tesla. Tesla Model 3 Performance, I've been in one of those. They only do 0 to 62 miles an hour in 3.3 seconds, right? Way slower than this, and that made me feel sick. Draco has unveiled its second vehicle, the Draco Dragon. The San Jose-based company was founded by Dean Draco, better known as the co-founder and CEO of Barracuda Networks and Shiv Sikhand. He's an electrical engineer and a co-founder of IC Manage. They repurposed the chassis of the Fisker Karma to create the electric vehicle. According to the company, the Draco Dragon, even though it's an SUV, is all about performance. It has a top speed of more than 200 miles per hour. Now, I don't think I'd want to test that out in an SUV. That seems a bit mental to me. I mean, I do like a bit of adrenaline, a bit of risk, but 200 miles an hour in an SUV, that is just ballistic. Just how mind-blowing is the performance? There's really nothing that properly compares. Dragon's four electric motors combined to provide more than 2,000 horsepower, quarter mile times of nine seconds. So it's, just, it's probably slightly faster based on their claims than the Tesla Model S Plaid and a top speed in excess of 200 miles an hour. However, with great power comes great responsibility. So Draco have equipped the Dragon with carbon ceramic rotors at all four wheels. The front brakes use 10 piston calipers on massive 420 mil discs. The rear brakes use six piston calipers on 410 millimeter discs. Now the reality is this is faster than every single gasoline powered supercar or hypercar that's ever been mass produced or just produced in terms of an actual production run. It's faster than all of them, every single one. And it's 290,000 US dollars. That means when it comes to supercars, it is a bargain. Draco already impressed us with its performance in the GTE. However, where this vehicle shines is the fact that it's an SUV and it has ludicrous levels of performance. I mean, Lamborghini make an SUV, but that thing is slow as a donkey in comparison to this. Electric says the design is quite unique and bold, but it works for them. And I agree. I think it looks good. Move over the Lamborghini Urus. I agree, it does look better than the Urus. And frankly, if you could choose between this and a Lamborghini Urus, come on, you'd have to choose this every single time. Draco is claiming 
that this is the world's first production SUV with a full carbon fiber structure. The company claims it will save 50% of the weight of the chassis. And it's future-proofing the car with a charging capacity of up to 500 kilowatt. That means this car can charge faster than any car ever made in the history of electric cars. Draco expects the Dragon to have an EPA range of 420 miles. Massive range, insane speeds, crazy doors that look like they're from a Tesla Model X. What more could you want in a lottery car, right? Now, looking at the interior, you got to say it actually looks really good. It's modern, sleek. It looks digital. It looks simplified. I quite like it. And compared to Draco's other car, the $1 million GTE, it's an absolute bargain at only 290000 Draco says it can ramp production up to 5,000 units per year. And the Dragon will be produced in the US with production and deliveries beginning in 2026. That's the only downside for this car. It's not going to be produced for another three years. Now, Draco has opened reservations. You can reserve one right now for $500. Or if you want a first edition model, which is limited to only 99 units, you can pay a $5,000 deposit. Now, I was going to go online and order one, place a pre-order for $500. I mean, why not? Then I realized I was going to have to come up with an extra $289,500 US dollars in three years' time. And I decided that maybe that wasn't such a good idea. There's one thing about this car that I quite like that I haven't mentioned. There's no supercar that can tow anything. Yeah. You've probably seen a couple of wacky videos where people have hooked up their Lamborghinis to a tow ball and they're towing a trailer with a goat in it or something like that. I've seen those getting around. But realistically, they're not made for towing. This is. You can actually tow three and a half thousand pounds with it. There is just no other supercar in the world other than a Tesla Model S Plaid with performance like this that costs anywhere within the ballpark of the price of this car. There is the Tesla Model X Plaid, but that's nowhere near as fast as this. The only car that comes close in terms of price and performance is the Model S Plaid, and that's quite a bit cheaper at only 130,000 US dollars. Come to think of it, it actually makes the Model S Plaid maybe the best performance car bargain you can currently buy. Now, yes, Americans, I am intentionally leaving out one car. Lucid also makes the Lucid Air. That's nearly as fast as this too. So that means America is the land of the fast, insanely fast, ludicrously fast, affordable performance supercar. Now, none of them, interestingly, actually look like a supercar. They're all practical and to some degree, sedans or SUVs. The prices are crazy. What does this tell us? The future of supercars is changing in a way that I don't think anyone ever predicted. But I've got to say, I love it. I have two sons. They love bikes. The future of the world, frankly, when it comes to supercars, is going in my direction, coming down in price and increasing in practicality. Thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section below. Bye-bye.